All right, so this is a different type of video. As you guys see, we're standing up right now. I'm promoting that healthiness, all right? Don't be sitting down all the time. Sometimes it is good to stand up. As you guys know, I love this game. Been uploading Apex content for a year and a half now. And there's, there's a reason why. It's one of the best battle royales ever. But it does come with its issues. And if you love something, you got to give some criticism to improve their game. I just wanted to give my two cents because everyone's talking about it, about the problem with Apex right now. I think there is a lot of valid criticism. The reason I was inspired to do this was because season 10 could have been one of the best seasons of Apex. No cap, it could have been one of the best seasons. And then they dropped the ball. I mean, you had a ton of Warzone streamers coming into Apex and the Twitch viewership was literally at an all time high but then you know stuff happened the game was literally unplayable for a week and a half as soon as warzone players started transitioning to our game a week later the game broke i honestly think season 10 could have been one of the best seasons ever until day one happened <laughs> what happened on day one seer seer oh he was so broken you honestly look at his abilities compared to everyone else in the game. He could do so much. He had a tactical that could blind you. It shows your health. It did damage when it shouldn't have. It was almost impossible to escape. And when you did escape it, it would still hit you because of connection issues. Oh, it also cancels heals and revives. Uh, his ultimate was... A minute and a half cooldown and it was unstoppable uh you know just just seer things you know what i'm saying he also broke ranked his passive also told you where enemies were like 200 meters out oh he was so broken and uh, i initially had fun with him but then he broke the game <laughs> but then that got fixed and then everyone went back to using their legends so when the f game first came out seer had like a 15 percent pick rate or something now he is at a whopping 3.3%. 3.3. But honestly, it's better that way because we're in the scan meta and I hate scans because you can't run. Everything was smooth for a little bit, but you know, the same old problems with DDoSers, hackers, and ranked. Remember that trend that we had, uh, save Apex ranked? And you know, respawn said, oh, we hear you guys. We're listening. Um, don't worry. We're going to do something about it. They did nothing. I think that's another problem that respawn has. It's just the communication side. Like, yeah, it's cool that they give us patch notes. I think that's great. Not a lot of games do that for some reason. But I'm sure that a lot of people are having a bad time with ranked. And especially with losing all the RP due to server issues. It's the servers. The servers. The servers. The servers. The main issue with the game uh it's it's honestly unacceptable and it's not even respawn's fault that's the thing i don't blame respawn it's ea i mean this this game is a billion dollar game they make a ton of money off us especially me i got like three heirlooms <laughs> for like average people who like just buy one skin during the event for their main uh i used to be like that as well you know they're still making money off us where is it going honestly like, I'm sure the CEO right now is in his bathtub and he's got money. And he probably wipes his, you know, with it. And he also obeys the money. So, like, that's part of where it goes. The respawn team is probably really tiny, which is kind of unacceptable, to be honest. You make a lot of money. You basically have, like, one person per section. It's kind of sad. On the anti-cheat side, there's, like, this one dude. I think his name's, like, RSPN Hideouts or something. That man is, like, the only dude who is looking over the cheating because, you know, let's be real here, all right? The anti-cheat system in Apex is pretty garbage. So the fact that you only have one guy overlooking everything, what happens when he takes a nap, huh? What if he's so sleepy? Those eight hours, gonna be doom. What if he wants to take a vacation? They probably have someone, but... So we gotta have more people on that Apex. But as I was saying about the servers, it's been a problem with Battlefield, any EA game, basically. They just don't put the time and effort into their servers. I don't know where they get them from. Black Market, Hamster Wheels. I don't know. I don't know where they get them from, but it ain't working. All right. And please, I'm begging you. You can buy better servers and it will help respawn 
tremendously. It's like 16 hertz servers, which is absolutely abysmal. I'm pretty sure Valorant is like 144, 120. You put that in perspective, it's bad. So I think out of all things that I want to see fixed, it's definitely the servers. It's been so bad that there's actually review bombs on Ape. Not review bombs because they're actual reviews of people complaining that the servers are just not working. And so obviously when we had the server issues where you couldn't play the game, all the Warzone streamers pretty much went back to Warzone. And I'm pretty sure that Warzone is going to have a big update coming since the new Call of Duty is coming out. So yeah, we're definitely going to be losing a lot more players. Now, another thing for me is kind of the just really not that much content. Don't get me wrong. The Bloodhound story, I didn't get to play it, but I did watch it. Super cool. Whoever did that, shout out to you. But I mean, we had a collection event, didn't work for a week and a half. They didn't extend it or anything, which is crazy. But yeah, we had that as well. Um, no real game modes. I mean, I think they brought back OG Kings Canyon. That's how unmemorable it was. We haven't had any new takeover, LTM, nothing. Nothing has really happened this season. We haven't seen game modes like third person in a hot minute. Also solo. I know Respawn doesn't want to bring back solo because it's not the integrity of their game, but you can bring it back as an LTM and have people play it for a limited time. Also, a TDM mode. Where is that? W where is that? I heard it's coming out next season. It, 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 it better. It, my hands are getting tired. How do people do this? It better come out next season because um, TDM mode, perfect warm up. Another thing is arenas. Like they're trying so hard. They are trying so hard with arenas but uh it's not really working and i i had fun with arenas for a little bit i feel like the rank system is just dookie it needs a rework but also just the core aspect of the gameplay not really for me i i'm sure i know some people who who love arenas but it's just not really for me also the matchmaking in there is is really doo-doo like if i'm in diamond i should not be paired up with people who are new to the game. You know what I'm saying? This one's a no-brainer. But uh, we know why it's it's not happening yet. Cross progression. A lot of people want it. You know, I want it because I have a Switch. I don't know why I played Apex on the Switch. I also have an Xbox. I'm not going to buy skins on them. Cross progression is not the biggest thing in the world. However, it is still a good thing to have. You see games like Apex apex you see games like fortnite have it they had cross progression before they had cross play which is crazy uh other games have it as well i know call of duty has it as well which is surprising because call of duty wants money but i feel like they have so much of it they're like we can give you cross progression if you want ea really wants their money you know anything they can get they will get you and so they probably have like one guy working on it you know he's just on his computer all day trying to figure out how to do cross progression now i get that your engine is old okay it came out in like 2006 probably used a different engine it's a little outdated you know what i'm saying it's 2021 the frostbite engine Ooh, that would have been so sick like the battlefield engine Ooh, with apex Ooh. oh the game would look so good and i'm pretty sure y'all don't even have cross progression with battlefield i wonder why sheesh who, who owns battle they did add cross progression in battlefield 2042 so that's pretty hype Battlefield. oh yeah who owns apex oh oh yeah they just don't be surprised if they're like oh yeah we tried so hard to bring cross progression into the game but we just couldn't do it because of the engine don't be surprised if that happens right here if if you if you see that on the news and then the last thing really and this one i think is unacceptable i'm gonna be right honest where's the updates for ps5 xbox series x and s i have an xbox series s i would love to play apex 1080p 120 fps because i know i know i know that that little box right there that uh, y'all can't see it but my xbox can do it now sometimes i don't want to play on my pc you know what i'm saying Sometimes I'm going to play on my Xbox because I need a use for it right now because there's no games, uh, but there's no cross progression. Ugh. Anyways, the next gen consoles can do 120 FPS. If my P5 
PC, which is just as good, maybe a little bit better than the consoles that are out, can do 144, then the next gen consoles can do 120. They said it would come out this year. I think they said October when they last said the news. I don't know. They said 2021, somewhere in the in the future. It's 2021. And they said this in 2020. So y'all have like two months. You know what I'm saying? Two months. The thing is, Fortnite did this a month after the next-gen consoles came out. A month or maybe two months? That's still very, very impressive. You're telling me Apex Legends, the second or third biggest battle royale, has not gotten an Xbox or PS5 update yet? Now, I think Call of Duty hasn't done it either, so you could do that. But they do have a workaround where you can uncap the frame rate. And if you if you can at least do that, uncap the frame rate on the next gen consoles, they will notice a difference. OK, because if you uncap it, it will probably hit 100 to 120 on the next gen. And even though you don't get the graphics that you could, you would get more FPS. If you have more than 60 FPS, you will notice a difference. I'm sure you guys could do that at least. I, I am sure that is super easy to do. I ain't a game developer. I'm not even a console gamer, man. Like I really am not, but y'all have deprived them for way too long. I'm sure there's a lot of people who have updated to the new consoles and getting 60 FPS is a crime. And also the fact that I have a Series S, I'm playing apex at like 720p it's uh backwards compatible with the x but my god why did xbox confuse their names bro xbox series s xbox s xbox one s jesus those are my biggest problems right now i love the game still um you know i think a tdm mode would do this game justice also a firing range like update please infinite ammo uh i saw that mobile has this thing where they tell you detailed stats of the weapons when it comes to like the recoil the weapon damage the, the, the hey you're telling me respawn can't do this season 10 literally could have been one of your best seasons at most successful not the best but one of your most successful seasons of all time uh twitch viewership was up you know a lot of people were playing your game uh but then the servers happen and uh you know everyone's going back to warzone well the warzone players are going back to warzone 